Have you ever noticed that there's a lot of advertising out there for engine oil? Cash for ledge. I'm gonna try this. Oh, no, that's sticking with your dipstick! But not so much for oil filters, with the exception, of course, of Fram. It's easy to hold on to. Yeah. See, I still got it. Does anybody know why that is? If you do, I'd love to know, so please leave it in the comments below. Anyhow, with something as important to your C5 as its oiling system, you want to make sure that you're using an oil filter that's up to the task. So we're going to dig into this subject and a whole lot more next. Toys I recently did videos on what's the best type of oil for your C5 and how often you should be changing it. So if you miss those, don't worry, I'll include a link in your upper right hand corner. Now on to oil filters. So for the first part of my career and the better half of a decade, I worked in automotive shops and for the past 30 years, I've been a pretty serious gearhead. And through all those years, the subject of oil filters rarely comes up but when it does, anecdotally anyway, I tend to hear pretty good things about Wix filters and not so great things about Fram oil filters. And when I hear this, I'm pretty sure guys are talking about the standard Wix filter and the standard orange can Fram Extra Guard filter and not the higher end Fram filters like the Tough Guard or their ultra synthetic models. I'm curious if the collective gearhead wisdom in your area feels the same way or if when the topic of good and bad oil filters comes up, you hear different names. Let us know in the comments below if you wouldn't mind because I'd really like to know. Anyhow, I'm not one that likes to typically rely 100% on opinions that are just being thrown around. So I did some research to see if I could find any objective, documented cases of a Fram oil filter hurting anyone's engine. And here's what I found. Let's take a step back and think about this for just a moment. Fram has been making oil filters since 1932, and by 1938 they were an OE supplier for Cadillac, Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, and Studebaker. Jump ahead to 1991 and Fram released its ultra common Extra Guard oil filter. Fast forward to 2023 and Fram is making a jaw-dropping number of filters each and every year. So just how many filters does it take to be jaw dropping? Four production lines churn out up to 500,000 filters each day. That's an annual capacity of over 100 million oil filters each year. Let that sink in for just a second. 100 million oil filters produced each and every year. If Fram is producing defective oil filters, then clearly they would be damaging lots and lots of car and truck engines. And if this is the case, then by the law of averages and the sheer magnitude of the numbers that we're talking about, then at least some of these car enthusiasts would also happen to be attorneys. And if that's the case, then I should have no problem finding all kinds of claims and lawsuits against Fram on the internet, perhaps even a class action lawsuit. So let's Google it. All right, here we come. Huh, I'm not really seeing Fram's name anywhere. This one looks promising, we'll come back to that. K&N, somebody sues a Jiffy Lube. That, wow, not really what I expected here. Well, let's click on this one. And okay. Oh, I see. Looks like we have to type in oil filter class action lawsuit. That's where we'll get all of the evidence in the court cases. Sweet. Here we go. Wait. K&N. The same one we just looked at. I don't see Fram anywhere. This is kind of disappointing, really. Wait, I got it. And here we go. I watched this video. There's really no, no proof of anything. They just cut open filters saying they don't like what they're seeing. Guys, I'm gonna have to call this myth busted. Now that doesn't mean I don't think Fram has ever produced a bad filter, but think about it. Anything that's mass produced is gonna have defects. That's just the way it is. So you've got the quality control people whose job it is to make sure those defects don't ultimately get into the hands of the customers. But even if that were to fail and one filter slip by out of every million, 
That's still 100 bad oil filters a year. So that having been said, here is why I think Fram oil filters get a bad name once in a while. Serious car guys like you and me go that extra mile with our C5's maintenance and sometimes we'll cut open our used oil filters and examine that filter media for any metal shavings or other debris that could be an early warning sign of more serious problems in the engine that are starting to happen. And by cutting open these oil filters, car guys have noticed that many oil filter brands use a metal cap on the end of that internal filter that's inside the canister. But when you cut open a Fram orange extra guard filter, you quickly see that that inner filter's end caps are made of like a cardboard-like material. And that's concerning for a lot of car guys. So in my opinion, while the Fram extra guard is good enough for many cars, our C5s deserve better. The good and the bad news is there's a lot of other oil filter options out there and trying to figure out which one's right for your C5 can be a daunting task. So for what it's worth, here are my thoughts. Assuming that you're running full synthetic oil and you're changing it when the change oil soon light comes on, more likely even sooner, we don't have to be overly concerned with the filter's capacity to collect dirt, debris, and other contaminants like somebody who's trying to get 20,000 miles out of their oil. So in our case, we're mainly concerned with the oil's ability to remove particles down to a very small size of about 20 microns, which is about the third of the thickness of a human hair. And luckily for us, there's an oil filtration standard that most oil filter manufacturers tend to use, and it's known as the ISO 4548-12. The standard is used to evaluate the performance for full flow lubricating oil filters for internal combustion engines. The standard includes adding particles to the oil and a multi-pass filtration test is done to determine the oil filter's capacity to hold particles, ability to remove fine particles, and it also evaluates the pressure differential. In my view, this standardized testing is extremely helpful because without it, marketing departments have been known to get pretty creative. Flex Seal's watertight barrier takes a beating. Yahoo! So by relying heavily on the published ISO 4548-12 data and also giving some consideration to price, here are my top five oil filters. AMS oil comes in at number five. It would have done a little better, but since it comes in at over $20, it's in the number five position. Royal Purple comes in with a 98.7% efficiency at 20 microns and a decent price of about 15 bucks. Bosch Premium comes in at number three, 99% efficient at 20 microns and just over $11. Purelator 1 surprised me at number 2 with 99% efficiency at 20 microns, coming in at just under $9. My go-to filter for the C5 used to be Wix, but not any longer. Wix doesn't seem to readily publish the ISO 4548-12 numbers. Instead, they like to use beta 220, 620 numbers, which the best I can tell translates to about 95% efficiency at 20 microns. So coming in at my new number one and the next oil filter that'll be going into the C5 is the Fram Ultra Synthetic. The Fram Ultra Synthetic comes in at over 99% efficiency at 20 microns and you can find it for around $9. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you agree with this or if you would like to slap me. Oh, and guys, if you got value out of this video, Hit that thumbs up below. It's the only way YouTube knows to share it. And as always, thanks for watching.